women in STEM are breaking new barriers in this Women's History Month. We spoke to one of them, Dr. John G. Zabo, the Chief Academic Officer at Beth Israel, and she also received one of the highest national awards in the field of liver disease research. She spoke to us about seeing an increase in women in the medical field. It really is a privilege and, and an honor to be part of the many, many smart, ambitious, and, and, and um, talented female colleagues who I have here in the clinics and in research and education. Um, I think we all share the view that our mission is to empower the young generation and also mentor them and help them to achieve the most. I think this is a process that kind of is, is, is handed down from generation to generation in scientists. And uh, we started very small, as, as you, everyone very well knows, uh, women have been kind of uh, a very small uh, uh, kind of uh, proportion of the, of the scientists uh, in the past, but I think we are making a tremendous progress. And in fact, in medical schools nowadays, the, in most of the medical schools, the admitted uh, new trainees are mostly over 50% are women, which I think is a, a tremendous success. Uh, what we need to focus on in the future is to keep these talented women in the workforce and give them opportunities in career development. We'll stay with CBS in Boston as we continue to highlight local women leaders throughout the month.